is unknowable, unpredictable. You are in no way prepared to stop the pain you will endure. Yo. There we go, man. Did you? That was a sick little intro, dude. I like the little pillars of creation in the background, too. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns. It is finally here, man. And before I actually get into anything, I will say be prepared if you haven't uh, downloaded this yet, because for me, it was a 72 gig update. I think if you bought the game, it's like a hundred. So you got to be prepared to sit for a while. And I, I have good internet. Uh, you know, because I live by myself, and my again, my inner is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, hold on, um, you know, and I'm wired. My my PlayStation is connected, and it took almost about an hour and thirty minutes just for my uh, just for this update to download, which is kind of insane. Because you know, I was watch I was like scrolling through YouTube, and I was watching, you know, Super. He was doing. I think he's currently doing the uh, Chaos Ring story, like a playthrough of that. I think Sikander was testing out Noob Cybot, and I was just like, damn, like come on, bro. <laughs> I wanna I wanna get up on this game. And I want to have some fun too. It's like it's funny because I was on Twitter and like one guy I saw had like 13 hours left before this game was. Bro, he's playing on that game tomorrow. Like that's all I gotta say. But here we are, man. We are officially here for Mortal Kombat One Chaos Reigns, and you already know what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be reacting to all the animalities in the game for all the characters. But first, I actually want to show off something pretty cool. Uh, they did just drop. Hopefully, I can show you it. I don't know if it's gonna let me show it off. Oh, well, here we go. Look at that. Oh, we even got the DLC characters over here. There we go. We got Noob Cybot. We got Cyrax, almost a Sector. And then we got Sector here. Sick. But here, this is what I want to talk about. So, Katana got a new little bundle for like five bucks. And it gives her two new skins and like, I think, 500 Dragon Crystals. And look at this, man. This is insane. Oh my god. Look at that, dude. It's like her normal classic skin. It's kind of like the one I was rocking currently. Like, hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's like the one I'm currently rocking, but it's Masses Katana with white hair. Here's the red version of it. That's pretty sick. This is, ooh, definitely cannot wait to play this. And I think uh, Derek said in the combat cast that uh, everybody got new brutality. So I definitely want to be doing a video on her brand new brutalities demonstrating this brand new skin bro this skin is insane let me get a let me get a close-up i want to see the tattoos real quick awesome dude. this is sick fucking skin you already know i copped it the second it was on what's well, going dude oh my gosh looks insane with fucking white hair like yeah she's definitely sindel's daughter you could definitely tell she's sindel's daughter you got the little fan right here like tattoo wise what the hell? That's it's so cool. It's so cool. But here we go, man. We got Cyrax and Sector and Noob Cybot. Anything new here? No. But goddamn. Okay. We'll get to her later. We'll we will get to her later. But here, man, we're gonna be doing some animalities. And you already know we gotta do it on the poor boy reptile. You know, hey, I'm repping green. You know, your boy Slytherin. <laughs> uh oh shit. Oh, these are old. Never mind. Uh, because he's got, you know, he he gets past the uh, the YouTube, uh, you know, uh, the algorithm. So we're gonna be doing all of our animalities on him. So you know, quick little moment of silence to reptile and to sacrifice for my YouTube channel. But here we go, man. Let's get into some of these animalities. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're gonna be starting off with the boy Noob Cybot. I actually, have to look it up real quick. Let's see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> see you later okay get it uh back down back down all right we've already seen this one but let's let's get a refresher on this why not uh 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 no uh 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 there we go there we go there we go oh i'm pretty sure this is uh a hate crime somewhere oh wins i like it victory i like it man i like it i like it i like it i love it man you know me being a florida boy i, I love it i love it all right let's get to the next one all right here we go this was called buzzkill and we've already seen a glimpse of this one but we haven't seen it in full so back 
Our forward back, forward back. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, the Hornet. Oh. Oh. Damn. Cyrax wins. Ooh, that ending screen. Victory. That ending screen is pretty sick, man. I, I do. Okay, seeing it full is pretty cool. That's very Devora, uh, Devora uh, coded. I almost said Diva. What the fuck? That's a different character from a different fucking game that I no longer play. <laughs> All right, next time. Uh, our next one. Here we go. All right, this one's called We Are Locust, and it's down, back, down, back. Uh, we have yet to see this one, so... Oh, okay, it's all on the screen. Perfect. And it's mid. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. All right, here we go. First time seeing Ermax animality, man. We have yet to see this. Uh, 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 uh. What the hell? Animality. Oh, oh. Ermac wins. No, nah, okay. Flawless victory. I know I just said that Cyrax's was, I uh, almost said D.Va again, Devora coded. This one is Devora coded. This, it's, makes sense. It's a swarm of locusts. You know, he's the, he's the million souls. That's, that was, that was sick. I like that one. I like this one. This was definitely sick. This was definitely sick. All right, here we go. We got Katanas rocking this beautiful, I love this skin. I love this skin, man. All right, Royal Nectar. We've already seen this one, but obviously we're going to watch it again. Down, down, forward, down. Yeah. Oh, not that. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. I, I gotta memorize this one because I'm gonna be doing this to everybody, bro. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Animality. Katana wins. <laughs> Flawless victory. Man, who knew such a harmless bird could have a pretty brutal animality? I like it. I love it. Of course, I'm gonna love it. It's Katana, man. It's Katana. All right, let's get to the next character. All right, here we go. We got Melina. We've already seen Melina's. It was like the first one they showed off. And look at this stage, man. This stage is gorgeous. So we got... Oh, it's a different uh, input. Okay, okay. Uh, Man Eater. Again, we've already seen this. It's the Praying Mantis. But let's get a refresh on this one. So forward, down, down, circle. Almost said square. <laughs> forward, down, down. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's not looking good for you, Reptile. Oh. Animality. Damn. Melina wins. Oh, it even got like her victory. Like you can see like the teeth of it, like her Tarkatan teeth. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Melina's is pretty sick. I like it. I like it. All right, here we go. We got Tanya now. Tanya is actually a character we have not seen hers yet. This one's kills are us. Is she a fucking draft? That's a Toys R Us reference. Okay, so down or down back, down back. Okay, like the other one. Okay, so uh 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 uh. She's a fucking draft! What the fuck? Animality. Tanya wins. Oh, it's Lost even look at her forehead. Her forehead has, has the Umgadi logo on it. That's so sick. No, nah, I think Tanya's might be a sleeper, bro. Like, I wasn't expecting a fucking draft. That's sick. I like the long ass eyelashes she's got to. No, I think this might be one of my top five personally. I like this one so far. And I love the design of the, uh, the Umgadi logo on her forehead. I was not expecting a draft for Tanya. That's so sick. All right, let's, let's keep on going. All right, here we go. We got the boy Rain now. We already know what his is. This is the Pufferfish. We've seen a glimpse of it. We didn't see the whole thing, but here we go. We got Allergic Reaction, forward, back, down, back. Okay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty brutal one. Rain wins. Oh yeah, that's a pretty brutal one. He goes down your throat and he just expands. Yeah, that one's pretty fucked. I, it's pretty cool, but compared to the other water-based animalities we got, this one, I will say one thing. It's funny that Johnny and Takeda get like way cooler water-based animalities, 
even though they're not, you know, water-based characters. And the water-based character, Rain, gets like, not the lamest one, but it's like, come on, it could have been way cooler for Rain, but I like it. I actually, I actually kind of like it for him. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. We got Smoke. Called this one. This was the gorilla. The Killer Kong. <laughs> called this one. I was so hyped when I called this one, man. I was, I was, I called it. That was great. So here we go. Down, forward, down, R2. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Oh, so sick. Uh. Oh. Flawless victory. Yeah, that's uh, definitely probably one of the worst ways to fucking go out. Just getting just ripped apart from the mouth. Oh, god damn. Insane. I, li I like smoke. Smoke is pretty cool. That was pretty cool. All right, now we got the boy Scorpion. We did see a glimpse of this. It is a Scorpion. But uh, we haven't seen it in its entirety. So here we go. Uh, forward, down, down, circle. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, god damn. Oh. Animality. Scorpion win. Damn, that one was kind of rough. Victory. He got fucking stabbed like multiple times and bisected at the end. God damn, that was that was rough. That was sick though. I liked it, man. I love Oh my god, you guys don't understand how fucking hyped I am I am for these animalities, man. Probably one of my favorite finishers in any of the Mortal Kombat. I think it's my favorite finisher in Mortal Kombat in general, man. Animalities are so cool. They're so creative, man. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. We got the boy Reptile. We already know what his is. And his is easy. I think it's my it's my second favorite because I'll tell you right now, Johnny's is my number one favorite. And I'll get to when I When we get to Johnny, I'll explain why his is my favorite. But Reptile's is definitely my second favorite animality in the game so far that we've seen. But here we go. We got Feed Me, Size Off. No way, they did a fucking, uh, what is it, the Little Shop of Horrors reference? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so down, down, back, circle. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Oh. Oh. Reptile yeah. wins. Easily my second favorite Flawless in the game. Victory. I love it. I love it. And it's like, it's kind of like the, 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 I think it's like a little joke that they did too, because Reptile already turns into an animal. He is an animal, you know? So basically his fatalities already count as animalities. So his animality is him turning into a plant. So I, I love it. It's, it's a great joke that they did there. But uh, definitely my second favorite in the game. It's so sick. I love it. I love it. Now that they, they did a little uh, feed me size off, the little, uh, little Shop of Horrors reference is so cool. There we go, we got the boy Sub-Zero. We did see his, uh, we didn't see it in full though. So here we go, we got Mammoth Mash. So down, forward, down, forward. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Here we go, this was pretty sick too. Like the ice on the tusk is so cool. Oh. Oh, god damn. Sub-Zero wins. That was, I like that one. Oh. That fucking sucks, bro. Again, impaled on the tusk. And like, he tries to rip you in half, but the first time doesn't work. And then he does it on the second attempt. Oh, that's a rough one. That That's a pretty rough one there. I like it though. I, I like it. Sub-Zero's got a really cool animality. All right, we got baby girl Lee Mane. Before I get into it, um, I think at the current moment, at the time that I'm recording this, uh, I believe Mortal Kombat is still under maintenance. So uh, the way I am doing this is by, uh, you know, the classic turn off internet. And you could play the uh, characters and shit like that. That's what we're doing here. But here we go. Uh, actually, we have, we have yet to see Lee May. So this is the first time we're seeing Lee May's animality. So we got this. Unbearable. Interesting, because there's already a character that's already a bear. So that we're seeing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Shao, uh, General Shao. General Shao is actually a bear. So I don't know what the fuck they mean here for Lee May. So let's see. Down, back, down, square. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What the fuck? Her eyes are purple. Animality. Lee May wins. The, look at the panda's eyes. They're purple. That's so cool. But really? 
They gave Lee May the panda? Isn't her whole thing lions? And they didn't give her a lion? Like, um... Like, her... Like, she has, like, a couple moves in, like, uh, an animal... Not an animal... A fatality... And her animal's like a... It's like a Chinese lion. So, the fact that they picked the pandas, like, kind of... It's interesting. Um... Goddamn, look at the dumpy on Reptile. <laughs> wow, what a weird animality. I was not expecting that for for uh, Lee May. It's pretty cool, though. I like it. I, I kind of like it. It's not bad. But very... I wasn't expecting that for her. I thought they were going to give her a lion. I personally thought they were going to give her a lion. But, um... Let me sure. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It wasn't... It's very unexpected, is what I'd say. All right, here we go. We got the boy Kenshi. We did catch a glimpse of this when they revealed animality, so we're going to see it in full. Wolf it down. Down, down. One, two, three, square. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. All right, here we go. That's sick. Oh, the, even the... His eyes! Look at the fox's... Oh, the fox. The wolf's eyes. Oh, fuck. God damn. Kenji wins. Flawless oh, victory. that's a rough one, bro. We got fucking mauled. He got mauled and ripped in half. And that was, oh, that was pretty tough. I like that one. That's, that's gotta be number three for me personally. Uh, my third favorite. I love this one. That was sick. And then if you look at the wolf's eyes for main Kenji, he's got white eyes because he's blind. That's so cool. I like the way he summons it. He fucking takes out Sento, slams to the ground, and the wolf... The uh, spirit wolf comes out. That was sick. I, I like I like Kenshi's a lot. His is definitely my favorite. Uh, one of my favorites so far. That that was sick. I like his. I like his. All right, here we go. We got the boy Baraka. We have actually not seen his animality yet. They didn't reveal it. So they didn't reveal to us what his was. So brand new reaction, or I guess a fresh reaction to this because I've never seen this one. So let's do this. Tranquil demise. Oh, huh, okay. I think I kind of got the gist of what animal he's going to be. So back, down, down, triangle. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. He's a fucking porcupine! Oh, fuck. Oh. Animality. Baraka wins. Nah, okay. Victory. I think Baraka might have one of my favorite animalities so far. That was sick. That was sick. He does the uh, he does the uh, the back spines like he did back in MK11. That was sick. Like, look at the way he looks. Like, he looks rabid. It looks insane, dude. I haven't done this yet for anyone else. I want to see this one more time. We're gonna watch this one one more time. That was fucking awesome. That was sick. Hold on. Finish him. Uh 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 uh. This this is so cool. It's like a rabid fucking porcupine running at you. The cinematic, and then the oh, animality. Oh, and I don't know if it's a reference to the. Uh, I don't know if it's a reference to the flesh pit fatality, where like obviously, like uh, Shang Tsung has that brutality with the spikes. It's like the same thing with the better spikes. Man, I really like Baracas. Baracas is really cool, dude. Yeah, that was really cool. I like that one. That was awesome. All right, here we go. We got the boy Garrus. We did catch a glimpse of his when they first revealed uh, the animalities. It's a hippo. We know that for a fact. We have to. We have yet to see it in its entirety. So here we go. We got uh, back, forward, down, forward. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. <laughs> the body slam. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's not gonna go for you. Oh. Animality. <laughs> he spits out the head. That's insane. Yeah, it's simple, but I, I fuck with it. I, I really like it. And I like the way they made the hippo look, how it has Garrus's markings, you know, on like his head and then uh, his eyes obviously glowing. That was pretty cool. I like that one. It's simple, but effective. I like it. And I like the little like comedic effect of like he spits out Reptile's head or like, the opponent's head out after the animality. That was pretty sick. I like that. I like that one. All right, here we go. We got Omni-Man. Omni-Man next. We now have the uh, MK Guests animalities. And I will say, before we actually see this, because we've already seen these on Twitter, I'm kind of bummed out that they revealed all of them, you know? 
I was really hoping that they would reveal only one of the guest characters, because I think the first one they revealed was actually uh, Homelanders. His is fucking insane. We'll get to that one in a bit. But um, yeah, I was kind of bummed that they showed off the uh, get all the guest characters. They showed off Omni Man, Peacemaker, and Homelander. They showed off their an animalities. I was kind of bummed because I wanted like a fresh reaction to them for this video, you know. But they kind of went on a spree of like just revealing every almost every animality in the game, you know. I feel like if we had another week before this game dropped, we probably would have seen all of them, you know. But uh, this one is fucking sick, though. I love it because it's a reference to the show when him and Mark fought the uh, Hail Mary Kaiju. So here we go. Hail Mary, it's in its name. Uh, forward, back, forward, down. So, uh, 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 uh. Here we go. And it fits Omni Man so well, dude. Oh, brushes him. Now, watch this. This is the brutal part. Oh. Oh. Like flawless victory. This little bite that he does to bisect reptile, that little bite, just like Omni Man, it probably took no effort. Uh uh, forget you, Mortal Kombat. I did buy this game. <laughs> it does that if you're offline. I don't know why. Thanks, PlayStation. But man, like that the, he puts like the littlest effort into just doing that and it rips you in half. It's insane. I love this one. I think. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Is it better than Peacemaker and Homelanders? I don't know. I don't know, but I, I like this one a lot. All right, here we go. We got the boy Peacemaker. I've already seen this one. It's it's very America coded. So get ready for you. Get ready for this, man. Uh, if you haven't not seen it, I'd be surprised if you haven't seen this. But if you haven't, hey, props to you. So here we go. Proud to be an eagerly um, uh, eagerly uh, American. Okay, so back forward, back down. Uh 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 uh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, the bisect, the fucking knees. The guns. The grenade. Uh. Peacemaker wins. God damn, I love victory. it. Yeah, that, that's a cool That's a really cool one. That's a really cool one. That's a really cool one. I like it. It's very Peacemaker coded, man, because... You know, he high fives eagerly. He's got the little helmet on. He brings out the fucking, he brings out two M16s out of nowhere. And then it eagerly brings a fucking grenade out of nowhere. And then explodes and then eagerly's carrying the American flag in the back. It's so cool. It's so Peacemaker. It, It's like perfect for him. I mean, I, I really like this one. All right, here we go. We got Baby Girl Sector, man. We've already seen this. It's the Rhino, but we haven't seen it in full. So let's do it. Uh, Horn, Horn to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a little cute little reference there. Uh, back forward, back forward. Uh uh uh. Oh, uh? okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh. Animality. Sector wins. Damn. Flawless victory. That one's uh. That was a pretty rough one there for reptile dude. Getting dragged through the fucking dirt with a horn impaled into you, you're just losing your limbs and then it stomps on your head? That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. All right, here we go. We got the boy Takeda. We've already seen this one. It's a clear reference to MKX. Tentacles, uh, back, forward, back, down. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Classic MK nonsense. Oh, God. The impale is the crazy part. Oh. Reptile, man. Animality. Takeda oh. wins. Flawless victory. Yeah, these are some of these are pretty rough, man. Just like the weird, like just the impalement sometimes. I'm just like, ugh. You know, it's like it's weird because I've been playing Mortal Kombat for like years, and like some of these still get to me. I'm just like, ugh. You know? But Takeda's classic call back to uh his uh or back to the uh Cove fatality, stage fatality with the Kraken. So it makes sense that they give it to the MKX character, right? All right, here we go. We got Shang Tsung now. I'm pretty sure I already know what this is. He's a Cobra. It's Shang Tsung. He's always been associated with Cobras, so I would be surprised if he's not. But uh, look at this new stage. Obviously, you can't see because it it's black in the background, black and white. But here we go. Let's do this with the twist. Yeah, it, it called it. I knew he was going to be a Cobra. Come on now. Or a snake, whatever you want to call it. So uh, forward, back, down, X. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no surprise. 
No surprise. But here we go. Let's see this. Oh. Oh. Animality. Fuck. Shang Tsung wins. That's a rough one, dude. Victory. He got squeezed, then bit, then fucking just turned like a goddamn soda cap. Like, that's insane. That's a rough one. I like that one, though. I like how his eyes are green because of Shang Tsung. That's really cool. Yeah, he's got a cool one. But again, no surprise that he's a Cobra, man. It's, it's Shang Tsung. He's always been coated with uh, with snakes, you know? Like, hell, even back in MK11, his intro where, like, the big fucking fire serpent comes out of nowhere, that... So, again, not surprised. It's still really cool, though. Really fucking cool. I like it. I, I Actually, I love it. I love it. It's brutal. It's a fucking brutal one, man. All right, here we go. We got General Shao. We've already seen his from the uh, little where they do like a. I don't know if you haven't seen this. Um, he's a bear, uh, and the way they showed this off was in collaboration with Reiko's uh, animality, and it was in the collaboration with the NFL, which was like bear. It was the it was the Chicago Bears versus the uh, San. Was it San? No, the the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams. <clears throat> Can you tell? I watch football. Um, so we did see, I did, well, I did, I saw this one, but maybe you haven't, so here we go. Bear necessity. <laughs> the fucking reference to Jungle Book is insane. Bear necessities, here we go. Back down, down, circle. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there we go. Oh. 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 Damn. General oh, Shao wins. Some of these are rough victory. Because other like some of the animals that we saw so far, they just do it quickly. But like Kenshi's uh and like Kenshi's and fucking uh Shao's, they should up maul you, bro. They fucking maul you. It's insane. But it makes sense as a wolf and a bear, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the queen herself, man. Look at the stage of the call the chaos scene we're gonna call it. But uh, we did see this already on Twitter. I'll be honest. I think it's kind of lame. I don't know, man. Uh, I watched it a few times when it first came out. I just, I thought it was kind of lame. I don't know about you. Like, I know some people were like, fucking losing it. Cause it's like, oh, my arachnophobia. I'm just like, it's okay. It's okay. If I was to give it like a, a score of like one out of 10, it's like a four. Like, it's not bad, but it's, I think it's probably the, I don't want to say the worst one we've seen so far, but it's kind of weak in my opinion. But here we go. Uh, Terror Anchula. Back down, down, circle. Yeah. Animality. Fin down with. Flawless victory. Yeah, I just I don't know, man. I think it's 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 lame. It's just lame to me. I personally I think it's lame as fuck. It's I thought they could have like to me for me personally when I first saw it, I think what they should have done was have her bite your head or bite the head and inject the poison. But then the second time she bites their head, like you know how like a spider when they catch an insect they like slurp up the insides because that's how that works. Uh. Have her do that on the second bite, and then you see, like, the character's body, like, slowly shrivel up and mummify. And then, like, she, like, bites the head off or something like that. That would have been a way cooler animality than what we got for Sindel, in my, in my personal opinion. I don't I don't think it's that great, man. I will say, it's pretty cool, though, that um, her and Melina are insects. Or, I guess, technically, I mean, he's arachnid and an insect. Where Katana's a bird. <laughs> I find that so funny. But uh, yeah, it's it's not that great, man. It's not that great in my opinion. I feel like it could have been better. It could have been better than what we would have than what we got here. But it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It could have been better. But let's get to the next one. All right, here we go. We got Rico. We've already seen Rico's. It's the Ram that we saw with the uh, collab with the NFL thing. That was pretty cool. But uh, this was actually pretty. It's okay. It's okay. Um, from what I saw, but we have to see it in full before I get my full, uh, you know, what's it also. Here we go. Rampage. Forward, down, down, square. Uh, 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 here we go. Oh. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Rako wins. 
That's actually flawless victory. Like again, like Garrus, it's simple, but it's not like Sindel's, you know. Like I feel like it works because you know Reiko's a very bullheaded character. So, but damn, that first hit. He hits you, knocks you, and they start throwing up blood. Oh, well, I didn't notice that detail, but then again, I was going really fast. And then, like, the second time he does the charge in, he fucking busts you down the middle of your head fucking falls. That was a cool cinematic game. Yeah, Reiko's has got a pretty cool one. It's simple, but I like it. I like it. All right, here we go. We got Raidens. We actually have not seen Raidens yet at all. Actually, no, we did. Uh, I, no, I think that was a leak that said his was going to be an electric eel. So seeing the electrifying, I think we already know what it is. It's an electric eel, but I have yet to see it. So we know what he is, but I, I don't know what it does. You know, so here we go. Down, back, down, circle. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah! Oh. Okay, that that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Victory. It's essentially his MK trilogy uh, animality back in M obviously in MK trilogy when he turns into the eel, he wraps around. Him. It's basically that again. It's an updated version of his old animality back in the 3D uh, back in the uh, trilogy games. Okay, so it's a revamp of an old classic. I, I like it. I like it. It's a little. It's a lot brutal now. Because it's obviously a higher res, you know, 3D fucking game where they can do a lot more, you know, the, the technology has advanced since Trilogy to, you know, PlayStation 5 <laughs> to MK1. But I like it. It's a throwback to an old classic for Raiden and it's, uh, they did pretty well with it. It's, I think it's just as, it's like, it's brutal, man. He fucking wraps around you, then he allegedly just electrocutes you. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. There we go, we got Liu Kang now. We did catch a glimpse of this. Um, oh, excuse me. He is a phoenix, and it's pretty sick, but we have yet to see it in its entirety, so let's do this. Rising phoenix, down, back, down, triangle. Uh-uh-uh-uh. <laughs> MK nonsense, baby. You gotta love it. Insane. Don't tell me he's gonna... Liu Kang wins. That's insane! He fucking explodes and then, just like a phoenix, rises from the ashes. That is fucking awesome! No, dude, Liu Kang's gotta have... That's easily, like, top five best animalities in the game. I still think Johnny's is insane. I love Johnny's. But again, we'll get to that one in just a moment. But, oh, dude, this one's fucking awesome! Because, like, for years now, Liu Kang has always been associated with dragons. This has been his thing since, like, MK fucking... Since OG Mortal Kombat, you know? And, like, for his animalities, he did turn into a dragon. So I like that they changed it up, and he's a fucking phoenix. Again, when we saw it, I, I called out that, you know, he's a god, and it's a mythical creature. And it's fucking awesome. It's awesome. Dude, this was a... This is an insane animality, bro. This is an insane animality, bro. I fucking love it. That's cool. That's really sick, man. That's I think that might be my second favorite now. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Johnny Cage, man. This one, I'll tell you right now, is my favorite in the entire game. And after we watch it, I'll explain why it's my favorite. But let's get to it, man. Here we go. Open the Beaches, a Jaws reference. Get it? Because he's a movie star. So back, forward, back, forward. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And I love the startup. Look at the startup. Animality. Johnny Cage wins. In insane, dude. Yeah, it's my favorite in the game. I, I'm gonna get to why it's my favorite because one. It's a Jaws reference, come on now. And two, it's an updated animality of an old one. Because if you didn't know, back in MK Trilogy, Cyrax actually had a shark animality. And that was easily my favorite one in MK Trilogy. It's my favorite animality in that game. And I think of all time. And Johnny's is essentially just an updated version of that. 
plus the Jaws reference. It's it's so fucking sick, dude. It's my number one favorite anime out in the game, which fucking sucks because it's for Johnny, and you know me, I don't like Johnny. <laughs> But if it meant I had to play Johnny just to do this animality a couple times, I might pick him up. Who knows? Who knows? But easily my favorite animality in the game. I don't know if any of the characters that we see next are going to have that same effect, but I fucking love this animality because it's just a, it's just an updated version of my favorite animality in MK history, dude. I fucking love it. So Johnny's number one fatality or animality in the game because one, it's Cyrax's shark animality, and it's a Jaws reference. Come on now, makes sense. And I also love the start. Puts like the he's a Johnny's a method actor. You know, you got to put the fucking shark head on and then do it. It's it's so sick. I love it. 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 All right, here we go. We got the boy Kung Lao. We have actually haven't seen his yet. They didn't reveal his. So this is gonna be a brand new. This is gonna be like a fresh take on this one, or a fresh reaction to this one. So here we go. Tai Go. No way, they gave him back or forward back down triangle. They made Kung Lao the tiger? Oh fuck. Oh god damn, that's Oh Animality. Kung Lao wins. That one is Flawless fucking victory. brutal. Oh my god, that one is brutal! And they gave Kung Lao the fucking tiger. Insane. What the fuck? He grabs you by the face, fucking mauls you. You're sitting there with no fucking face? And then he rips the like top part of your fucking spinal cord? Nah, that one's insane. Insane, no, I Kung Lao, bro. Okay, man. Okay, I hate, I hate this fucking character, but he's got a really cool animality, man. Hopefully, Kung Lao fans are a big fan of this one because I like this one. This was pretty fucking cool. All right, we got Baby Girl Ashra. Uh, we have yet to see her animality. Nether Razzle. The fuck? Back, forward, down, square, or square. Uh, X. Uh 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 uh. Yes! No fucking way! What the fuck? Oh god damn! Animality. Ashra wins. Flawless victory. Ashra has the second best animality in the game. She turns into a fucking unicorn, dude. And then she does the fucking Back to the Future reference where she like goes so fast that she fucking, what's it called? I had to watch this one one more time, dude. Hold on. And does the hair on her mane change color? Finish that would make it. sense, right? Because it's uh, it's uh, light and dark. So, uh, uh, uh okay. And the fucking flames are rainbow Ashra colored. Wins. Nah, Ashra has. Okay. I know what I just said about Johnny, but I think Ashra legit has the best animality in the game. That is fucking. I can't wait to do this one on people, bro. This one is legit insane. She turns into a fucking unicorn. And I like that the wings. Are the ones that she gets in her um like in her startup of her uh fatal blow that's so sick ashra ashra dude let's go man thank god i made her man <laughs> such an insane fucking animality i love i love it i love it i love it i love it all right here we go we got the flesh or flesh, flesh bits uh we got notara and i think hers should be pretty obvious it's going to be a bat we haven't seen it yet but it's going to be a bat it's notara Bats all fuck yeah, called it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, first time ever seeing it, man. Hopefully it lives up to, you know, the fact that we already know it's going to be because it's Natara. So uh, forward, down, down, X. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh. 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 Oh, she's upside down, isn't she? Oh, fuck. Natara wins. Yeah, come on. Okay. Flawless victory. It was super obvious what Natara was going to be, but that was sick, too. And it's also kind of cool because back in MK Trilogy, Sector was actually a bat. And this is a, essentially an updated version of uh, Sector's animality, but given to Natara. Uh, really fucking cool, though. I like it, man. Again, super obvious, but I think it's... Uh, I think it was very... I think it's done well. I like it. I like it. I like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, we got the boy Havoc. We already know who he is. He is a hyena, but we get to see it in its entirety. So here we go. No laughing matter. Uh, back down, down X. Uh, 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 uh. Fits him perfectly, dude. Hyena is perfect, bro. Oh god, dude. Animality. Havoc dude. Wins. Some of the, victory. like, some of the ones where, like, the animals are trying to maul you are, like, the most brutal ones, bro. Kenshi's, uh, Kung Lao's, Havoc's, General Shao, where they just straight up maul you? Fuck, they are brutal, dude. They are brutal, man. They are brutal. God damn, that one's a rough one, too, man. He's fucking just tearing at your fucking insides and rips out your fucking, like, large intestine. Yeah, that's a rough one, dude. Great though, it's it fits havoc perfectly, dude. It fits havoc perfectly. All right, here we go. We got the boy Quan Chi. We kind of know what his is. Uh, I think it's one of the coolest ones in the game, but we have yet to see it in its entirety. And let's do it. I just realized if you notice on the top of the stage, there's like a, like a fucking jumbotron. What the fuck? So let's here we go. We got T wrecked. Back down down circle. Uh uh uh. uh. Here we go. Watch this. You're not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Insane! Oh! <laughs> I like that little joke. Quan Chi wins. Insane! Now that this victory. That is that that's definitely one of my favorites, man. Quan Chi turns into a fucking T Rex skeleton. Oh, and then like the little fucking thing where like he like swallows the food. But obviously it's a skeleton, so it's not gonna work. But it lands like in its like rib cage. That was a great one, yeah. Quachi has an amazing one too, man. That's an amazing animality. It's so good. It's so good. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last but not least, we got the boy Home Lander. We've already seen his. I think out of the three guest characters, Home Lander has the best one. With and it's arguable between Omni Man and Home Lander. I think it's whoever you like more. But you cannot argue that homelander does not have the best well i guess it is arguable because peacemakers is pretty fucking great but this one is just insane bro so here we go lead freedom wing back forward down circle uh uh uh, uh. here we go oh, oh, oh dude like come on the griffin oh Homelander wins. Yeah. Flawless oh. victory. Homelander has probably the coolest one so far. Like, or it has a really good one. It's like, it's up there, bro. Like, top 10. It's easy top 10. Top 5 maybe, too. But I love it, man. The colors, the, you know, the, the fact that it shoots fucking, uh, what's it called? The lasers is insane. Like, like the way his, like, outfit blends, like, into, like, the feathers and the colors, like, from his cape. It just works so fucking well, man. They did really well with the guest character animalities, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it, man. That is all the fate titles that we have currently until, you know, Ghostface drops and we get to see his animality. I uh, don't know when he's going to drop, so be prepared for that. Uh, um, but that's all the animalities in the game. All of them are fucking sick, bro. I legit, all of them except for Sindel's. I will say, like, even the simpler ones, like I said, like Garrus and uh, Reiko's, they're super simple, but they're, like, effective, you know? Where, I don't know, like, I just don't think Sindel's animality, like, fits her, in my opinion. Or, like, the, the, the actions that they do just doesn't work well. I don't know. Something about Sindel's animality just doesn't click with me. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, 
And just looking at the, after all of these, I think it's like the worst one in the game, personally. Personally, for me, if you're a big fan of it, hey, power to you, no problems with that, right? But for me, personally, I think it's the worst one in the game, man. I think it's the worst one in the game. I, I don't know. I think, it, it, to me, it's the worst one in the game. But like I said, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Rocking it out, man. Looking at some of these amazing animalities, except for Sindel's. Um, I'm going to edit this, get this out to you guys, and I'm going to be playing some Sector, man, so be prepared for that. And uh, Katana's new skin and her new brutalities that should be in the uh, seasonal store currently. I don't know. Uh, you know, don't quote me on that. Because I think they're still doing maintenance on the game, so I don't have access to that at the current moment. So I will be just be practicing with, uh, with Shujinko, too, because Shujinko got buffs. You'll be practicing some combos with Katana Shujinko, see what I can do with his new moves. And obviously, we're going to be practicing with some Sector Shujinko, man. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. I'm ready, man. I hope you guys are ready, too. So if you like today's video, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.